Why don't you find your own hunting ground? You. We're looking for something. A way into an oasis. Has to be around here somewhere. Keep looking. And keep looking out for anything that can kill you. Ignore that. He's not shooting you. Don't waste time out. As I was saying, he's not shooting you. So he's not a threat. In fact, he's not even hitting you with many weapons. I think we're getting close. Or... Not. I can see why not many come here. It's so hidden. Even those enclave wouldn't be able to find it. Not easily anyway. No, you can't go up there. This must be the way in. Oh. Haven't seen trees before, the living ones. Oh, I'm saying, of course you haven't. Outsider, you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry! He doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us, and he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch, and I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Why, he is, of course. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, all will be explained. Excellent. Please, follow me. All will be explained soon. Since they didn't try to kill you on sight, I'd hear them out.
We welcome you with outstretched arms. Welcome, outsider. Welcome to Oasis. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. No, I suppose you haven't. In fact, few who live outside of Oasis have. Everything you see around you, from the tallest tree to the smallest blade of grass, is a gift. A gift from him. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. No one speaks his name out of reverence for his majesty. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a God Tree. A living, breathing, speaking God Tree. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. Yes, person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin, and let's begin. This is a hippie commune. I don't like it, but you'll need to drink that to get an audience with this god tree. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And, diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand.
You're strong-willed, Gabriel. That's why you're mentally intact. But I wouldn't make a habit of drinking that. This will probably fry your brain like it did with those tree minders. Yeah, it is like that. Oh, don't mind me, I was talking to the green text bringer. Talk to this tree, and let's get on with it.